Music Therapy Labs uh, back here at Henning's Gear Street 42 Quattro. Quattro is what I call it. And I'm going over here to get a coffee. I have to go through. The... I don't want the dogs to escape, so we've got this gate. gate. That's to control the animals. We're going to grab ourselves a little coffee here. So this is Henning's uh, mama's house. She's in there doing laundry. Hello. And this is this is the coffee station. They have all these wonderful coffees here. They're like uh, biologically uh, sound iced coffee flavors. So I'm going to go with the cream caramel here. You don't want to use a lot because it's strong. Just do a little of that. And then you just add a little bit of uh, some milk. I'm showing I'm showing the people how you do it. What's that? You want to show them? You can show them. There we go. Let's add some coffee. Full? Yes, please. That's good. That's good. Okay. Thank you. And then you just add a little sugar. If you want sugar, I'm going to go no sugar because sugar is bad. I will think, and I think this, this is better. Is... Oh, what is that? Uh, um, okay, it's because the stuff. I add some stuff I think and it will be better. I think this sugar will not... No, you're right, because it's cold, yeah. But a little bit of the stuff in there. There we go. Excellent. That was a lot of stuff. <laughs> I have no idea what she said, but I laughed anyway. <laughs> Here's some of the, some of the, the guys here. Oh my god, no. No, thank you. Okay, let me see if it's good. Let's see. Let's, let's... Mm. Perfect. 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 So this is where we are. This is one of the, this is the coffee lounge, it's the cafe, Mama's Cafe over here. We've got monitors here showing what's being recorded during the show and, uh, well, the show, I guess. Basically, you're able to see what's going on in the uh, rooms via those monitors and I think you can move, move around. I think this is the smokers section over here. Looks like it's kind of set aside, set away from everything. That's my guess my guess and then we've got uh through the through the hills and over the woods or what is it <laughs> through the forest and over the hills oh yes metal massages will occur there's going to be someone doing massages i'm assuming they're going to be using metal devices of some kind of torturous devices i don't know and then we got love sack bean bags over here Another little hangout spot. We got some Germans hanging out over here, talking German, and Hello. and from Chile. Hello, hola, qué tal? Hola, qué tal? ¿Cómo estás? <laughs> <laughs> That's the best I've got. I cannot say that. I can well a bit Nederlands speak, but there are too many people on the world. Incham te lo mit besé, ek da majoro li studne ek besé, ne hosere ne thalani. Ja, ora todos hablamos en diferentes idiomas y nadie entiende nada. Ish. Ish. Any. Say something in German. Shemi mash. Many of the languages. Ich kann natürlich Deutsch, aber das was was willst du mit das bringt ja nichts. Kira, es tat kartam. Hallani. Na, itt leszünk egész nap estig, és itt fogunk felvételezni. Tessék, Szent Mária. Yes. Okay, on, onward I go. I'm just showing around everyone to uh, get a feel for what the place looks like. So this is the the compound here. We've got uh, the neighbors here unfortunately going to have to put up with us. They already they're already upset. <laughs> They're already upset with us. We haven't even gotten the, the the YouTubers have not even arrived yet, and our the neighbors are already giving us the evil eye. Hmm. I'm not sure what kind of animals live in here, but apparently there are a lot of animals. I would guess birds. What would you think? I would I would say birds. And we're gonna have cushions on here. We're gonna have water in here. There's gonna be shenanigans of. I think there's a girl's pool and a boy's pool. I think we're keeping them separated because you gotta keep them separated. I'd... I think they're growing opium here. No, actually this is chamomile. <laughs> if you didn't know, chamomile, chamomile. I think this is like a German song like that, right? I think it's Edelweiss actually. <laughs> Here's the, uh, the love hinta. The Serelem Hinta, as they say in Hungarian. Yep, this is where everyone goes to hang out. And then, uh, what else we got? We got 42 Gear Street signs. 
you know, let's walk around the compound here. It's actually a nice cloudy day, and I'm saying nice because, trust me, we don't want it to get hot. <laughs> oh, that coffee's good. Oh. Yeah, we don't want to. We don't want to be here when it's hot. So this is where, if you need to release some extra energy because you haven't been able to release enough of it in studio, you can come over here and climb the the walls here. That's right. Just go ahead and climb your way up and over the ceiling and down the next wall for fun. So now this is a beware of Poo Ninja. Keep this door closed because there are animals in here probably. Oh, that's the, the biggest animal of them all. No, no, they're not in here. They are over there. Oh, keeping them out be... of here. Oh, they, they, they I thought this ours. was like the bathroom because it's a beware of poo. No, no. <laughs> No, it's you're not understanding. No, Who's I'm not. I, I I haven't been able the to understand. The animals are out there. They're not supposed to go in here because they run away. Uh, I haven't been able to understand anything here in Germany. I mean, I was trying to find the exit on the highway and I saw the sign that says asphalt. I'm like, what kind of sign is that? How am I supposed to understand how to exit? Well, I it guess a fart. Exit. I guess a fart does exit out the ass. Look, so. We tried to teach <laughs> you that language years ago and you refused. Well, the Hungarians were here first, so. <laughs> <laughs> we got colas, we got drinks, we got beers, we got everything here. Look at that. Fanta, Coca-Cola, hard liquor, alcoholic beverages. I'm kidding. This Those are juices. Coffee for people Yeah. Gear Street. 42 Gear Street. Why 42, Henning? Because it's the meaning of life. How? The answer to everything. How's that? Explain this. Oh my god. I didn't read, read the book. book once I didn't while. read that book. I read I read King Rat when I was twelve, and that taught me everything. I'm like the world is doomed. <laughs> so so <laughs> here we have we have Studio B, we have Studio A, and then we have I guess they call the living room studio, and then we've got pussies over here being shot. <laughs> So disgusting. We've got a black star amp because black star is one of the one of the uh, most awesome supporters of this event. And look at this handsome devil on the screen here. Look at him there. So we're heading. <laughs> Henning. <laughs> Henning's trying to get points. He's trying to get points. So there's the the main house that all the neighbors love the paint job of. Because they say, wow, we've always wanted to have like a, like a, uh, cool house, purpley, pinky kind of cool weird green thing. house. It is a cool house, I have to admit. I'm jealous, honey. I'm jealous of your life. Except this part. The working. <laughs> Except, Except the working part. I just want to kick back, lounge, play guitar. There's no keyboards here, though, man. Why no keyboards? There's a keyboard in my Where? I see a keyboard. Oh, yeah, I saw that Nord one. I lied. It's another lounge. Studio B is over there. That's where I just shot video for my channel. I got to do that. I wasn't even expecting that, which is very cool. Yeah, we've got a fake falcon up there just to scare the uh, squirrels away. Hmm. Here we go. We're going to go up into... This is where Henning lives. Because he's got no more room to sleep. He's got so much gear. He's down here with the uh, the tools and the uh, fuel injectors and the uh, cleaning materials. And of course, you got to have this lime lizard green color, it's giving you some contrast here. It's got to be quiet because they might be doing a video. But actually, it's practice day, so it doesn't matter. Now well, we got some pedals here. Pedal selection. The two notes, cab M and oh LPD and tremolo and some kind of a Mako series kind of a thing. Kind of Harley Benton. This place is filled with Harley Bentons. A guild. Look at this acoustic just hiding back here. We got these 
weird transformer transmitters. That looks like the thing on top of, uh, what was that movie called with that robot? I forget. A nice looking box amp. Little fader port 16 PreSonus. It's a nice little tabletop controller for your DAW. And then here are some more keyboards. He even has more. Those little, little ones here. Joyo Bantam amp. That's the, that's the zombie. That's that metal one. And some patch bay stuff and some more pedals, more acoustic stuff. Oh, a 42 Gear Street cigar box. Very Sharpie kind of thing. A Stanford. I didn't know that Stanford made guitars. I thought they were just teaching people stuff at Stanford. And that's him. That's right. On one of his better days, when he had hair, Henning Pauly. The absence of what? An absence of empathy? It looks like it, dude. Holy crap. What happened? Thank God you shaved your head and now you're normal, like me. So, uh, we've got more cameras. There's lots of cameras here. And then, that's the uh, household piano. Let's check that out. I'm going to have to move this guitar case because there's probably a guitar in it, right? And we don't want it to fall, even though it's in a case. So we'll lean it right against the corner there, so it won't fall. Let's check out the... the oh my goodness, this one's special. It's a kawaii. It's even got a red doily on top. I messed up the song, so I started making up something else. I mean, it's simple enough. There's no black notes in it, right? Almost got it. <laughs> anyway, we'll put the red doily thing back on the kawaii. Those are very good pianos, actually, the kawaii. Made in Indonesia. I'm kidding. Um, Japan, I believe. So here's the command center of what we all have come to know and love as Henning's... Dude, it's not even Monday anymore. Come on, man. It's, it's, it's Wednesday already. Oh, Get with it. Get with it. All right, somebody's got to keep things on, on tap here properly. I don't know why there's a funky looking like manga game there or something like that. So here's the uh, view that Leslie usually has, the back of Henning's head. And uh, a very nice studio live board here, which does all the stuff that you need it to do, including this black magic. Look at this thing. It's got this like controller here. You can zoom, zoom in out. Very cool. Some speakers. And then here's the kitchen where the cafes are made. The cafes. And then back in we go here. This is where the selection of all the wonderful guitars are the Synergy Cab, the Red 7 Amplifications Demon, Demon Amp. I'm just making up stuff now. This is cool. What is this thing called? Treble bass and volume here. And then, I don't know what that's for. That's like some other channel thing. I don't know. Well, this is a very confusing Soldano amplifier. A Vola. Vola, Vola. Do, 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 do. Vola, Vola. Cool guitars. I like how it has that little too loopy kind of thing. Ah, ah, look, looky, looky, looky here. What do we have here? Is that what I think it is? It is. It's the Valiant. Oh, that's the one that I wanted to check out. That is very cool. I'm not going to take it down without asking. Because that would not be proper. And here's a very cool looking uh, single cut version. I like that design. Look at that. It's got a little bit of a, you know, different kind of cutaway there. Switch right over here. Right? Good position for the little knob for the nipple. The guitar nipple, if you didn't know, that's the guitar nipple right there. And these are the knobs. You creak, 
tweak the knobs like that, right? Um, and you just hook hook onto the nipple right there. Oh, well, this thing's loose. It's loose. You don't have to tighten that. And then we've got the headstock matching. That's just sick. That's just so nice. We got a McMowl. So this is one of the ones that I wanted to check out. This is very cool. Look at that thing. Look at the finish. The crackle. You see the crackle? There we go. Crackle. The crackle finish. Very nice. I like that color too. It's like that daiquiri blue. Daphne-esque kind of a blue, but it's got a little green to it. In this camera view here, it's not as green as it is up front. Like this is still more blue than it is in person. And this is a very nice McMull purple with crackle. It's got a special crackle right there. Like somebody dropped a bowling ball on it or something. Bang. Interesting. Interesting crackle right there. Yep, the purple McMull. So I'm definitely gonna play some of these McMulls when I get a chance. Like I could put this down right now and just play. And here's another McMull. That one's cool. Ooh, open pour grain, mahogany body with P90s. And look at that old school looking barrel style, Tully type bridge. This too has been aged in a vat of acid. <laughs> <laughs> and then that that's interesting is that a tone fuchs yeah it's a tone fucks because tone fucks right tone fuchs or is it fucks why why are these words bad i mean everyone knows what it means we've got beer street pillows we've got diesel orange angle gravy Marshall, Marshall, Morgan, Ampy, Rev, Blackheart. Oh, that's a cool little amp. Who's in Kettner Black Spirit 200? Because I'm using a southern voice for a German amplifier that's made to sound like it's British. And then we've got this really cool guitar. It's a Panucci, Panucci, a Panucci 59 because it's supposed to be like a fit and nine. And then we got this Schecter. Oh, I know this one. So this is the, uh, what's his name? The solid rosewood thing. Uh, oh, oh, oh my God. I can't remember his name suddenly. It's not coming to me. I love that Daphne blue and it's all crackly. I like the crackly guitars. I like them. And then here is a, I think maybe a first version or is this a special HP 42 signature? Harley Benton, nice flame maple. That's almost more kind of like a big flame, right? Worn off, very cool. So that, that's the upgraded version, I would guess. And then we've got uh, the Tone King that you often hear Henning play through, testing out amps or sounds, pedals and stuff, guitars. And there's the Synergy 2, two head rack or two Friedman and the Fryette. Very nice choices, Henning. Very nice choices. The Carl Martin Custom Shop 50. So I think that's supposed to sound like a... What is that? Not a 50 watt Marshall. I think it's supposed to sound like the... Um, what is that? What is that thing? It'll come to me. Anyway. Artist Sound. Oh, this is cool. Look at this solid wood cabinet. No Tolex. Stained to look killer. And this real cool Sharpie guitar. I love it. I love it. And then here's a Friedman. Very, very nice. Oh, very, very cool. I like that weird kind of weird brown kind of color. It looks like kind of cinnamon caramel. That's what I'm going to call it. And then everyone's got to have one of these. I don't have one of these yet. The Lego Strat with the Lego reverb amp, right? Princeton. And then, of course, Henning hit the 100K. Soon he'll hit a million. We got another little mini Hughes and Kettner. And then here's his uh, 
wooden pedal display. This is this is very cool. I dig that. A real nice looking echo machine over here. Tape echo. And a keyboard. It's not turned on. And he's got the mini amps. So he's got the diesel, the Bogner, and the Friedman. All good choices, Henning. Once again, you know your shit. You know your shit. Alligator. He's got comp and delay and reverb in there. And then, uh, who's that going? I don't know. Space Echo, RE202. Very cool. The Strobo Stomp Tuner. And the Golden Boy Plexi style, I guess you'd say, overdrive, right? Or it's more, it's really more, uh, I guess a pedal that's like an amp in a box kind of thing, right? And this is what we're using for switching everything. And then we've got a two-faced pedal here, the Harley Benton two-faced pedal. Here's another ampede switcher, switch all them amps over there. And he's got a nice little setup. Cameras. I'm just going to knock the cameras out of angle so they all have trouble dealing with it. And then here's our, our set list. This is who's coming. Yeah, let's see. Set list and, and aux options. Those are the options they're given. But yeah, this is what they get to do. And then who's that dude? Heavy metal. Heavy metal. And a harmony. Very cool. Foil pickup guitar, double cut. I like how the uh, horns are kind of angled out more. And then that's the display that the person sitting here gets to see. And then we've got a seven string Harley Benton, kind of a comfy comfort uh, comfort guitar. See, it's got that little comfort cut right there. And then that's that really, really, really expensive and one of my favorite colors, that blue jean, kind of a faded blue jean color, PRS. Super Duper Eagle or something, right? And then another one of my favorites, the Mariposa. Kind of fashioned after the Albert Lee guitar, right? And then you've got this really cool Valiant. I think this is one of the first ones he's had. In, or is this a newer one? The Soothsayer. And, uh, of course, the Tuxedo-style Music Man Ernie Ball. Very, very cool. I dig it. I like that. I like that combo. The gold with the tobacco sunburst, right? And then here is some heritage. So these are like, you know, the original factory and people that worked for Gibson that didn't want to go to where Gibson moved to. So they stayed in that factory and decided to open up their own company called Heritage. Changed up the headstock a little bit, but the quality and machinery and tooling and I guess you would say the knowledge <laughs> stayed with them. Nice looking AZ model, right? And then check that out. Ooh, ooh, PJD, what is that? I don't think I've seen that one before, Hang. I like it. I like the black and red, or black and red, <laughs> black and orange. Mahogany body, maple top, bond, ebony, yes. All day long, dude. Stop tail. And then we've got some fenders. We've got the Miami blue, which looks way more blue than it does in person, with the mint colored pick guard, of course. And check that that monster out. Check that monster out right there. Headless. So they just put a thing to strap it on there. Strap on, strap on. And this is a very, 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 very cool Telecaster style or T style guitar with a double binding. Another, what is it, Tone Fox? Instead of Tone Fuchs, it's a Tone Fox. And then here's another guitar by that same brand, the PJD. Look at that flame. And it's, and it's solid. You can see it going all the way through, right? Solid maple with a swamp ash body nice i like that choice with the rosewood and i like those inlays they're very very modern looking very cool of course the neck is of course satin and looks like it's been torrified tortured by fire torrified <laughs> oh, 
caramelized, caramelized maple, I don't know, whatever you want to call it. That's a cool setup too with the P90. I think Henning is a, is a big fan of the P90 in the neck position, I noticed, which I tend to agree with. And look at these cool stands. The Bulldog, looks like a Klingon weapon. So here we are, that's right, in the studio. And I finally made it. I, I just invited myself and forced my way into this place with these fine people <laughs> so that's it I, that's the tour you guys uh, hope you enjoyed the tour and um, stay stay tuned for more um, actually this is probably the last day I'm gonna shoot anything because I'm gonna get to work so I'll see you guys later rock on <laughs>